Yo, what's up everybody? All impromptu live here. Let me get my registration because I have a feeling I'm going to be talking to the police soon. Give me one minute. Okay. The car's a little messy here. I got the registration here somewhere. Just the updated one. That's the old one. Get rid of that. It's an even older one. Inspection report. What's this one? What is this? Oh, copy. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'll explain what's happening in a minute. No, I didn't get pulled over. I'm just expecting he called the cops on me. You'll see in a minute. Just want to make sure I got my registration ready to go. They can just run the plates, right? They'll just run my plates. I'm telling you, I'm waiting for the cops to get here. It's going to be any minute now. What the fuck did I do with it? Give me one sec. Give me one sec. That's not a registration. That's trash. Trash. I should have done this before I went live, but more trash. What the hell is this? Taxes. I'll explain what's happening momentarily. They can just run my plates, right? If they need to. Okay, as long as I got my license, I'll be good. Actually, what's this down here? All right, so um, I'm gonna make the live I just did public in a moment. No, that's not, I'm just waiting for the police. I'm telling you, it's gonna be any minute. Maybe not, I don't know. So um, here's the deal, guys, who's in the house tonight? So I am in Newton right now, plot seats. Yeah, no, I gotta upgrade. This is an old car, it's a 2010 CRV. Um, I am in, yeah, they can tell by my place, but it's just good to have license and registration, but whatever, okay. So, I am in Newton right now, um, and I just went to Mike Fucci's house. Um, I'm, I did a live stream privately, uh, just in case, you know, I didn't want to, I'm going to, I'm going to make it public in a couple of minutes as soon as this one's over. But basically I came out all the way out here because I wanted to interview Mr. Fucci. He has not been returning my phone calls. Um, I'm in Newton. Now, he does not own property. He lives in this house with his wife, Jennifer, who works for some corporation in Acton. I forget the name of it, like Inatel or something. And they live with her parents, who are elderly, obviously. And I don't know if they know anything that's going on. So I had some questions for him because he hasn't been returning my phone calls. Uh, I have some questions for her because she has not been returning my phone calls. Now, Mike said, he told everybody last week, of course, that he was going to get mental health treatment, that he was going to the hospital because that was his excuse for lying about having cancer. Insulin, thank you very much. That was his excuse for, yes, I am there. So um, that was his excuse for lying about having cancer was that um, he was going, like he's mentally ill. So he's going to the hospital and everyone was all worried. He's going to kill himself. He's going to kill himself. And I said, no, he's not going to kill himself. He's not, he's not mentally ill. He knows exactly what he's doing. I've seen people like this before. He just has no empathy. He is not ill. So the fact I, I go there and I parked outside is his SUV. The, the license plate, you'll see, you'll see. It literally says Chef Mike. That's his license plate. C-H-E-F-M-I-K, Chef Mike. And I go up and I uh, knock on the door. And I first I see an elderly woman standing in the living room. I don't want to bother her. 
Um, but I think, I feel like she has a right to know, don't you? Like if you were there, like that, Hey, this is what your daughter and her husband are up to while living in your house. They are committing crimes. They are pretending to have cancer in order to raise money, uh, off of vulnerable people and nice people who like him from friends and family. Uh, and you know, you're associated with this, like you're living with them. And more than anything, like, are you aware that your son-in-law who lives here rent-free is, uh, you know, has a baby, a four-year-old son that he intentionally created with knowing full well he was going to abandon that child, that he had no intention whatsoever of being the father to that child. So I just wanted to ask him that because I really think it would shock them. I feel like they have a right to know. They are being held back. Obviously, they probably don't go on the internet much. They don't know about their world-famous celebrity chef, number 15, number 5 in Massachusetts, number 20 in the country, and number top 100 in the world. They don't know about his shenanigans and the crimes that he's been committing under their roof. And I just feel like they had a right to know. Um, so, I, you know, maybe they do know. That's what I'm there to find out. I'm just there to ask questions. I'm a, an award-winning reporter. That's what we do. That's what we do. Now, um, you know, I want to come. People, oh, is it late? It's like, well, this is the only time I can get here. Um, and obviously, like, his wife is out during the day. So, you know, she works. I don't know if he does. He probably, I mean, he obviously doesn't work. He's had a job for three days his whole life. And they should know about the $28 million house. Like, they... They were lied to. I know these people weren't lied to. The other woman's family was lied to. Everyone else in this family was lied to. And meanwhile, these people, he's in there playing home with them. And so I, you'll see when I make the video public uh, momentarily. But basically what happens... Actually, why don't I do that right now? I can go on my other phone and make it public, can't I? Uh, let me go in my studio here. All right, and that way you guys can watch it too. Content, lives, Fuchi 4. I'm gonna go ahead and, wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make that public now. Okay, so that video is public. You can check it out. But basically, you'll see what happens. Um, I'll just go through it. Actually, we'll just play it. Fuck it. Let's go over here and play it. All right. He didn't. He didn't take it too well. Let's just put it that he was not happy to see me. He was. He was. This is not how he envisioned his his Wednesday night going. Okay. Not happy to see me. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Hold on. So here's Fuji Five. It's so it's so it's Fuji Five because I did a few takes. All right, let me pull it up. Oh, there he is. Okay, here he is. So, right, so check. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is what happened. So here I am. Award-winning reporter, knocking on doors, it's what I do. There hey, he is. Mike, it's Aiden from Turtle Boy. Look at his face. How you doing? We have some questions for you. Do you have any answers? There he is. We just got some questions. Anything? No? We just want to add, does your, do your girlfriend, does your wife's parents know about the kid? About the baby, Mike? So you can see the mother in there. And then they go and they hide in like a corner. And then I, I, I go outside and I can see them so through that somebody's on the phone with somebody. I assume they're calling the cops. Right I parked a couple blocks away because there's no parking in Newton. And as I'm walking so back over here, I see two cars, like jet, two cop cars go down that way. So I'm just, I thought that, and I'm like on doing live when it's happening. You'll see at the end of this, I'm like live when it happens. And so I'm like, well, 
better get my license and registration out because I'm expecting to get pulled over. I, I almost should have stayed there and just waited for the cops to come, but I don't know. I don't want to disturb the neighbors and shit, but because I, I have nothing to hide. I'm not breaking any laws. I'm just there to ask some questions, just get to the bottom of things, and uh, yeah. So, so that's the end of that. So, am I? I don't know where I am. I'm like, what part of Newton am I in right now? I'm like. I'm in West Newton. So I went by the same hotel that Irish Demon, I met Irish Demon at. So I don't even know how I get home from here, whatever. Um, actually, I'm right near the Pike. I'm right near I-90. You guys know where like St. Um, Route 16, that's where the marathon goes. So I'm right by the Boston Marathon route right now on 16. Like going towards Boston's that way. All right. So anyway, that's where I am. I have no idea if I'm near a police station. I don't care. I mean, it's like, I, I really don't give a shit. Like I'm not breaking any laws. So again, I'm just, this is what award-winning reporters do. They show up at homes and they ask your question. Like if you're dodging them, where else am I going to find you? You know, where else am I going to find you? All right. What do people say? So did the cops come to his house? Yeah, I saw them. Like he lives on... I think they went to his house. I saw two cops, like, cars, like, go somewhere with the purpose towards there. And they went right by me. So, yeah. Okay, anyone else have any questions? So did the cops, uh, West Newton exit on the pike? Yeah, there appears to be an exit over here somewhere. Um, chances are the parents are used to this crap. I doubt it, man. I think this guy just hides everything. Yeah, we, we should meet him up the street. Perfect, I can see you on my cell, yeah. Did he call the cop? No, so I'm not there right now. Blue ribbons to best barbecue. Should go to you, Turtle Boy. Oh, thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, like you said, 13 Kings. Turtle Boy's the number one reporter in the state. 11 in the country? I thought it was better than that, but I'll take it. And uh, top 12 in the world. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby. So I'm like sitting in this parking lot of a school right now. Um next beyond a CVS with my interior lights on. So this is as shady as possible. So like if the, I mean, if the cops are going around looking for something, they're going to see me, which is fine. I have nothing to hide, but I just want to be live in case that happens. He ain't calling. He knows he'll get roasted. Yeah, but he might not call, but what's he, he's obviously telling his mother, his mother-in-law lie. Cause his mother, you know, he's telling He told his mother-in-law, do not go near the door. Don't go near there. So he probably had to make something up like, Oh, I'm so, such a celebrity, the paparazzi's here, something like that. He's, he's feeding her some sort of lies. You can guarantee that. You can guarantee that. Okay, anyone else have any questions? No, there's the police. Yeah, they see me. I'm expecting them to come over, right? No, they're pulling right back in where they were, actually. Maybe they're watching, I don't know. I don't know. So, I have the Newton Police Radio up. All right. So, let's just get out of here. I don't want to deal with the cops. He didn't want to talk to me, so I'm going to put in my address here. 111. And get the directions. Starting route to 111 Mason Road. Ah, great. What happens? Proceed to Waltham Street. Then turn right. All right. So we're going to head out and keep you guys live for a couple minutes. Is there a police station right there? Is that where you just came out of? Turn left onto Webster Street. Does anyone have the Newton scanner up? They talk on, all right, I'm going to look down Warren Ave. Are they down there? Let's see. No, no one's there. Okay. They were definitely called to that. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. <laughs> oh, man. But again, I came in peace. It's like I made it very clear. I'm a reporter doing my job here. Are they talking about it, Bobby J? PD is right there. They don't want to rat, um... I mean, I don't care. Oh. 
so they are the police stations right freaking there so i'm literally right by there so anyway uh you know i just i saw him in person but he literally you saw him he wouldn't even open a freaking door as soon as he saw it was me they're looking fatter than ever again nothing against the fatties okay you let me go all right thank you That's probably where they post up, is what you're saying? Oh, there was an actual dispatch? Is that what people are saying? Interesting. A police scanner would come in handy right now. I heard some people are listening to the scanner and they're keeping me posted. Let me know if you hear anything about this. Yo, I'm like a felon, I'm, I'm skipping town. No, I'm just kidding, I, don't, I came in peace. I'm not here to commit any crimes or anything like that. Again, um, just an award-winning reporter doing his job, showing up. A lot of people say, oh, Turtle Boy won't show up. Eh, he showed up. I mean, I know it's not Dunkin' Donuts, but what am I supposed to do? The guy won't call me back. He won't call me back. What am I supposed to do? Them feds watching. At the next light, turn left. At the next light, turn left. Oh, it's a while away, okay. Anyway, I just, yeah, exactly. I just want to get inside of the story. Like, you know, he, he said, he said, I'm going to be making an announcement in the next few days. He also said he was checking into McLean hospital. That appears to be a lie. That's another thing I was going to ask him is, um, when are you checking into McLean? Are you, are you checked out already? You know, we'll see. We'll see. So, again, Mike, I'm sure you're, I don't know if you're watching right now, Mike, but uh, you might as well answer some questions, Mike, because this isn't a threat. I'm not stalking you or anything. I just, I really am curious. You know, as an award-winning reporter, I like to have my questions answered, and you are certainly a public figure. You've said yourself that you're a world-famous chef celebrity chef at that and your celebrity stat you know as a celebrity status person you're probably used to this sort of line of questioning so this should be nothing new for you sir um and i look forward to eventually meeting you um you know you might as well just get it over with that's what i would recommend because like i'm not gonna stop obviously and just again i have a job to do i have a job to do the competition is uh, honing into my story so I need to make sure that I get the scoop before they do. Again, media always shows up at people's homes. Like, they, like they're afraid to show up at your freaking home. Like, knock on the door. They do it all the time. The I team investigates. It's like what they do. So, um, yeah, the wife is definitely in on the scams. Again, I was really there to like let the let the old people know. Oh, that was not actually the woman who almost quit her job. I was thinking that was the one. Remember they, they tried to get a woman to quit her job to be their nanny? Yeah, except that was the other woman. That, so this these people don't even know about any of this. Like imagine not knowing that the son-in-law who is like living in your house for free and is just kind of like waiting for you to die has a child and you're kind of like the step-grandma almost. Like... And you don't even know about that child. And like, does Mike even know that kid's name? That's what I want. Do you even know the kid's name or anything? Do you like care? Are you interested in him at all? Like getting to know him or like learn about him as a person? Like, does that interest you? Like, how can that not be something on your mind? Okay, we're getting on a highway. Hold on. Which way is this taking me on? Go past this light. Go past this light. Okay. Oh, they're going to take me to the Pikeway. Okay, I thought we were going Route 2. All right, we're going the Pikeway. All right. So, anyway, um, yeah, impromptu live. This is why it's really important to hit that notification bell. Again, I, I, I was grappling with, like, should I? Oh, we're at the Pike right now. Wow, cool. Nice. So, I was grappling with, like, should I make this public? But I didn't, truthfully, I didn't want to tip him off. Okay, there we go. I didn't want to tip him off. I did not want him to know. 
Is this that exit 17? Is that what this is? I've never been on this part. Worcester. Is that what she just called it? She just called it Worcester? Going to Worcester. Okay, easy there. Easy there. Okay. Anyway, uh, I guess if he does, I guess we'll just call it uh, an evening. Uh, but again, I didn't want to go live and have it like um, broadcast publicly because just in case, you know, he's watching, I don't want to tip him off. Like that was my big thing. Because who knows how much of this shit he actually watches. Like I have a hard time believing Chef Mike Fuji is not keeping up with this. He's way too obsessed with himself not to. And he's just, you know, I'm sure he's waiting for the heat to die down. But it's been almost a week now. I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. I need I need my questions answered, Chef. So maybe we'll go to your wife's work. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, we'll see. But you should have seen the chef, the chef Mike car. I'm like, I, at first I'm like, is this the right address? Then I see a SUV parked outside with a license plate Chef Mike. I'm like, yep, we're in the right place. <laughs> we're in the right place. So anyway, I guess uh, I'm going to end this now. But, uh, yeah, we'll see people for Turtle Club tomorrow night at 9.30. Check out my brief encounter with Mike Fucci on the other live, Fucci 5. This is the Fucci Files. Um, and we will see you guys. Join Turtle Club if you haven't already. 15 bucks a month. You can't beat it. Or you can just join locals and you get access for 7 bucks a month to the Thursday night stream. But if you pay $15 a month, you get access to the Thursday night stream and you get ad free on the website which is just makes the experience so much better we know how annoying those ads are i hear people bitch about them all the time i get it but you know what's a couple bucks a month what do you whatever just you're supporting good journalism here this is the kind of renegade journalism this rebel journalism that you're seeing here this is what your money goes towards so this is it folks the type of real hard-hitting news and analysis that you cannot get anywhere else wcvb ain't showing up at his house Tell you that much. So, all right, guys, we'll see y'all. Uh, everybody else, we'll see you on the weekend for the live show. And uh, go Celtics. Peace.